At an armory in a secret location, we were invited to see the types of weapons recovered in London. Machine guns, shotguns, revolvers. Well, this is the most commonly used gun by criminals in the UK. It's a handgun. And here at the National Ballistics Intelligence Service, they build up a database of all the firearms used in this country. This is an AK-47, the type of gun used by the Paris attackers. As you can see, it's a completely different weapon. Back in August, the National Crime Agency said they'd intercepted the largest ever delivery of high-power weapons into the UK. Authorities admit they don't know how many have already got here, but insist it's very few. In the UK, we've only seen one shots fired incident involving an assault rifle, and that was in 2009. So it's a very low percentage when actually, you know, it's handguns that we see used in crime. The fact that there are very few semi or fully automatic weapons in London is put down to the UK's tough gun laws and also the fact we're in Ireland, so it's harder to smuggle weapons in. But authorities here say they're mindful that terrorists may now try to get their hands on these most powerful of weapons. We'll do everything we can to stop that kind of military grade or war weaponry falling into the hands of terrorists, of course. You're quite right to say that. We are an island. We have got some of the strictest gun control uh, in the world. But that shouldn't give us false comfort. Semi-automatic weapons were only banned in the UK following the Hungerford massacre in 1987, when Michael Ryan killed 16 people. Handguns were banned after the Dunblane school shootings in Scotland in 1996. Here you've got two bullets, um, and they've been scanned into the machine. The machine flattens them out. This is from Edinburgh, this is from London. So, looking at the way the striations all match up there. The marks? Yeah, the, these, these markings. I can say that the same gun has fired both those bullets. Ballistic experts offer reassurance there is a limited pool of weapons in Britain. We've had a couple this year which we haven't seen used for 11 years and then they reappear, even though they might have been used in some very serious incidents previously. It's not, not untypical at all to see weapons dating back to Second World War, even the First World War, still being used. Why is that? Again, it, it suggests that there is a limited availability uh, of, of firearms and handguns in this country to use in crime. In the Metropolitan Police area alone, 255 weapons and almost 7,500 rounds of ammunition were handed in during the first two weeks. For decades, there have been appeals for the public to surrender weapons. In the 60s, it was mostly guns brought back from the war. One woman had had a loaded Schmeisser machine gun under her bath for some years. It was very little use about the house. Husbands can be subdued by other means. 50 years on, there's now another weapon surrender. Some of these are very similar to the weapons that our own officers carry as well. Um, gun crime in London has gone up 10% in the past year and the police say they're not just waiting for firearms to be handed in. The sort of work that we do here in, in, with, in Trident is actually very effective. I mean, this year alone, we've recovered nearly 600 firearms. That's nearly up to last year's figures, um, and that's without this surrender. So, you know, we're, we're covering quite a few guns uh, through the enforcement activities. But with the mass murder in Paris, keeping weapons out of the hands of would-be terrorists here has taken on added urgency. Nick Beek, BBC London News.